So we're interested in how robots can model and influence human teams. So just as a quarterback can determine the outcome of a game, an individual can influence teams to do many things. And we're curious whether a robot can be just as influential for teams. So for instance, what if this quad rotor wanted to lead these humans on a different path than they were originally on? Normally, it would have to consider one-on-one -on -one interactions with all of these humans. However, this approach is not really scalable with larger numbers of agents. So our goal is to come up with a scalable approach to influence human teams. And our key insight is to use inherent team structures to do so. In particular, we focus on modeling leading and following structures in teams. We propose a way we can combine data-driven and model-based approaches to learn these structures in a scalable way. First, we start with the simplest case, where we use supervised learning to learn the relationship between just two humans. We analyze a two-player setting where we randomly assign leading and following roles. Specifically, we created a game where we asked participants to demonstrate what it means to lead and follow uh, while collectively arriving at an island. After recording their trajectories, we then fed this data into neural network modules that were trained to predict the leader-follower relationships. Finally, for each player, we outputted a distribution over potential leaders. This gives us a model that can predict leader-follower relationships for two players. But what if you want to model more than two players, like a much larger team, like this one? So using our trained model, we can then compute pairwise leader-follower scores for all possible pairs of leaders and followers. So what's really cool about this approach is that it is scalable with a number of agents. So we can easily add or subtract agents without having to retrain our model. Importantly, adding a batch of edges for a new agent merely takes on the order of milliseconds to compute. So you can compute these graphs online. In order to find the most likely leader-follower relationships, we find the maximum likelihood graph. So we greedily select the outgoing edge with the highest weight for each agent. We are then left with a graph where the bold edges represent the most likely leader-follower relationships. So now that we have this graph representation of leading and following structures, you might wonder, how is this useful for our robots? In order to create robot policies, we computed this graph every k time steps. The robot then chooses actions that maximizes some reward function defined by the weights in the graph. So for instance, if you want an agent to follow the robot, the robot will choose actions that maximize the probability of it leading the agent, as shown by the red edge. We tested our framework in three tasks. In the first one, we wanted to see if we could get the robot to swap an edge in the graph by influencing an agent to follow it instead of some other goal. And in our experiments, we found that a robot using our framework was able to successfully influence a simulated human agent to change edges much more effectively than a baseline random policy. We also tested our setting in an adversarial task. Here, the robot plans to prevent players from collaboratively reaching any goal. So we show that with our framework, uh, based on the graph representation, a robot is much more effective than a robot who randomly chooses a player to block, as shown in the middle. Finally, we tested our framework in a collaborative setting. Here, the robot wants to lead the team towards the more optimal bottom goal, where the humans don't know which goal is more optimal. So here, we show that our robot using our framework is just as effective as a strong baseline, where our robot makes it super obvious which goal should be the target. So in conclusion, we provide a scalable way to model teams so that robots can positively influence uh, human teams. Thank you.